Zinc would be involved in primarily enzyme systems. It's involved as a component that is required for over 100 enzymes in the body. These enzymes are involved basically in, in all aspects of, of body function. Energy, protein metabolism, zinc is critical for the immune response. It's uh, involved in the visual cycle. It's involved in so many processes. Copper, on the other hand, is required by fewer enzymes. There we're probably looking at 10 to 15 enzymes total. But again, these enzymes are key. Copper is involved in the enzyme that uh, gives pigmentation to hair, gives it its normal color that we would see. Uh, it is also involved in giving the structural properties to bone and also blood vessels. This is important because it allows uh, uh, the physical properties of these. For example, it allows the uh, blood vessels to expand and stretch without rupturing. And one thing that is seen in copper deficiency, we can see rupture of a major blood vessel that results in, in death to the animal. Manganese is uh, required in smaller amounts, uh, except in broilers. Broilers, uh, it's required in larger amounts than, than copper and also required in basically as large of amounts as zinc. It is involved in uh, Again, in the bone, it is involved in the what's called the ground substance, in which the a number of compounds are, are laid upon. And if this ground substance is not properly laid down, the bone is not going to be laid down properly. And we're going to see lameness in animals, all types of bone problems. Manganese is also a component of uh, a couple enzymes that are involved in, in metabolism in the body.